I just I identified with his with his passion and with his pain, and, and and to be honest, I don't think that's just me. I think I'm just lucky enough that that I, I have the opportunity to do it because I think that's why the Phantom is such a is such a powerful piece because I think a lot of people identify with the pain that's inside him. <laughs> I oh, see. The, nose. Well, the disfigurement of the Phantom's face has been central to the role ever since Lon Chaney's first incarnation in 1925. Makeup designer Jenny Shercor, whose credits include Elizabeth and Girl with a Pearl Earring, has the challenge of designing the prosthetic. Like do the eye bit, do the eye, because you can't see the nose, because you. This is the eye. <laughs> well, just look into my eyes and you can tell how comfortable it is. Um, I was up at. 10 past 3 this morning. I was picked up at quarter to 4, started at 4.30, and I think we finished about 10.30. That's the first time. We've got much quicker at it, um, because we know what bits are important to, to work with and what aren't. And we've also got Jerry TV, so you can sit and watch TV while we're, while we're poking and prodding at him, which is good, which makes him sit still. And he's been brilliant, so... Um, it's about three hours, four hours. I can't imagine that there is a more important prosthetic than the Phantom because this whole story is all about what's hidden under that mask. And we refine something which was both repulsive yet human. But I hated it. <laughs>